I can, because it's DXF, I can go through and just delete them and then uh, work out again the optimal toolpath. We're here at Eurospark in front of this NSD 510 machine. And by the end of this video, you will see just how quick and easy it is to program and set up. Now, Andrew, talking about programming, that's normally the longest part of, of any setup. How does that differ on this machine? Well, the beauty of this machine is there's lots of ways you can program it, and we try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, I can show you here really quickly. The, you can program it the traditional method, you know, writing out GNM code longhand, or you go to this programming screen here. Now, here you can quite simply input your whole center coordinates, uh, and it will automatically work out the GNM code for you. Or let's say if you're doing a, a string of five holes at three mil pitch, you literally put you want uh, sorry three mil pitch and you want five holes. Hit enter, convert to NC code, apply your NC code, and that's it done. So that's your five holes there. And that was just in seconds. Yeah. Well. Now, what happens if they aren't just straight holes? What happens if you've got a PCD? Okay. So uh, again, you go back to the same page. Uh, clear it off. Uh, let's say if this time, you know, we've got, uh, say, seven holes around the radius at uh, five mil. Hit OK, convert to NC code and apply. Uh, and again, it'll do it all for you and work out the, the best path to do that. Now, for somebody to actually <laughs> write that program, yeah. they'd still be on the first line by now. Exactly. And the beauty of this is if it gets more complex than that, um, you usually you've got a DXF or something with the holes on. So let's say if I want to open up a file here, uh, I can just load a DXF directly. And it will, what it will do is it will actually pick up uh, all of either the points or the circles, depending on how you want to program it. And here it's a Windows-based system, so I've put a USB in the side, or it can be networked, so you can put your files directly from your computer over. I'm going to open this up. And as you can see, it's, that's just picked it all up. Now, if I decide that, say, some of these holes aren't quite right or I don't want to drill this time around, I can, because it's DXF, I can go through and just delete them and then uh, work out again the optimal toolpath. Now, looking at that program you've got in there, all the holes are different colours. So, yeah. what, what's the colour for? Okay, so on DXF, it's quite, it's quite useful that you can apply these um, uh, colour data. So, you can be used for multiple things. You can either set your W height for if you're uh, drilling on a, a taper or a gradient. You can set for different dr drilling depths, or you can set for different electrode size. So, it will change on the large machines, it will change the guide, it will change the electrode. So, you can do basically a much longer run, really simply programmed. Uh, and even on the, uh, the compact machine, even though it doesn't have a tool changer, you can still set this data up and then it will attract fully and let you do that manual tool change or guide change uh, automatically. So programming this machine is extremely simple and extremely quick, but one of the things some people at home might be thinking is, mm -hmm. what happens if you change the electrode? How quick is it to change the machining data, not just the program? Okay, so yeah, you're right, you, you need different data, but all you have to do is it's the EP code, which is machining data, and it's these three drop downs here. So you select your electrode diameter. So let's say we're doing 0.5. Uh, you then select your material. So heat treated, tungsten, whatever you want. And then your electrode length, more for when you're doing a tool changer. Uh, and then you select it there. So heat treated and apply. And that's your, all your EP data. So in a matter of two minutes, this machine can go from completely broken down with nothing on it to being up and running. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Right, well, we're going to put you to the test now. <laughs> so we're actually going to see you take this to bits and then we're going to build it all the way up till it's running. No problem.